Hello, welcome uh, to HXGN TV. Uh, today I'm Claudio Mingrino of Hexagon Geospatial, I'm responsible for global strategic partnership uh, at my company. And today I'm with Mark Ewen, he's a strategic uh, business uh, development manager at Scient. Welcome to Las Thank Vegas. You. And uh, today we will talk about uh, smart cities. And it's a very important uh, market segment uh, for Hexagon and for Scient. So my first question uh, is, uh, you know, what, do, what is uh, your vision of smart cities? What is the status of the smart city market and uh, why is it important in, uh, in the market approaching the smart cities? Uh, well, let me tell you a little bit about Scient and why we're well placed to serve this market. I mean, this is a fascinating market for us. It's by 2020, there'll be $1.5 trillion uh, spent on it globally of which there's an addressable spend from an ICT perspective oh, yeah, of about yeah. like $20 billion. Now the companies that will come to the surface and be successful there are the ones that can serve the needs of the smart cities market itself. So for Scient, uh, we're a, a Hyderabad Indian centered organization, 14,000 employees in 40 locations, and we serve a number of industries. And the industries are key to smart cities because the industries of which we are well known for uh, are the ones which are being approached by smart cities. So that uh, takes the form of uh, communications, uh, utilities, and geospatial services. Uh, we also do a lot in transportation for the likes of TomTom Tom and other clients. So taking these three different business units together, fundamentally we can address the needs of most of the smart cities initiatives underway at the moment. Yeah, interesting. And the size of a company and the mission of a company and the way in which you develop this kind of solutions uh, for making the city smarter are for sure a, 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 a fantastic foundation uh, for creating a strategy for smart city. But you know, uh, can you tell us more how scientists now approaching uh, this uh, very demanding and challenging uh, 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 need from the cities uh, in various parts of the world? Yeah, um, so you know, when you look at smart cities, the word smart appears before everything. Smart buildings, smart transport, sm smart everything. And to address everything in smart cities would take an extraordinary amount of time and resources. So we're focusing on three main areas. Okay. Uh, the first of these is smart governance. Okay. And now these terms are interchangeable and mean different things in different regions, but our primary region of focus in India, we're looking at smart governance first of all. And that is primarily around geospatial uh, data acquisition and using that de geospatial data acquisition in a very smart way. Okay. Um, also aligned with that in terms of governance is the plethora of sensory information coming back from IoT, um, juxtaposing those into a geospatial uh, image is key for a city to actually manage um, all of the services within it to begin with. Uh, the second one we're looking at is smart energy. Now, okay. smart grids, AMI, these sort of things have been around for quite a while. Uh, we're also looking at smart street lighting. Uh, which has been um, something that's of great interest to a number of cities, particularly in, in India and the US. And also then smart communications, looking at fiber rollout, network planning, uh, CCTV feeds and so on. So those are the three principal areas we're looking at. Yeah, and you know that uh, Hexagon globally is very focused on the smart city uh, a, a market uh, and Hexagon, you know, uh, is able to provide the platforms and technology for this. So it's quite automatic that the partnership between Scient uh, and Hexagon, uh, you know, can take off uh, very well. But uh, I, I'm very interested in understanding uh, what are the values that you find in the geospatial technologies uh, as a glue for uh, a smart city approach uh, and uh, for the specific uh, um, partnership that uh, you would like to build with Hexagon? Uh, well, yeah, it's an interesting question. I mean, the first thing I'll say about this is that smart cities are kind of mainly driven by operational technologies. Okay, okay so uh, how we approach this is looking at to utilize our core uh, a pedigree in geospatial um, mapping technologies. We've been doing this for well over 25 years. Uh, but also looking at, we're looking for a partner who is flexible and innovative. That's really key for us. And because geospatial is effectively the glue that binds all of the smart cities and initiatives together, it's the interface, it's where all the information is displayed and stored, 
We're looking for a company who is very much aligned to the Smart Cities Initiative, uh, who has innovative solutions uh, on the marketplace and is yeah. very much committed to it. And Hexagon fits that bill for us. Yeah, Hexagon uh, globally, then with Hexagon Geospatial, uh, we can have the glue for the platform because Geospatial is everywhere. Everything is everywhere and this is very important. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm also very interested in uh, understanding how operationally you will uh, uh, organize your uh, action. If you have some priority for some specific regions around the world, uh, uh, you mentioned that uh, you have uh, uh, several opportunities uh, and you are looking to the Indian market that obviously is a so wide market uh, and it's so many, you know, helps uh, for uh, improving the situation of also difficult cities. Uh, do you think uh, that there are other regions of the world where science will focus primarily? And uh, 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 if you also think uh, to connect with other partners, complementary partners uh, that are also partner of Hexagon for uh, fulfilling large projects in smart cities? Yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the keys to uh, uh, an IT company's success in smart cities is the ability to partner and ability to partner extensively with a large variety of different partners. You know, tying, tying oneself down to one particular partner may not work in one region. So we're looking to broaden the scope of our smart cities initiative, not just dealing with smart cities. For example, I'm here at the conference to talk about disaster impact management, uh, which is using geospatial information to help a utility manage a disaster of you know, flooding, bushfires, and so on that may happen in the city. That's really key, so to be successful at that, we must partner with the best products, the best vendors, you know, and so on, to give us the best solution. And you know, up till now, Hexagon certainly has become, from a geospatial perspective, uh, the one that we choose to partner with for smart cities because of the breadth and depth uh, of the, your innovative solutions. We are obviously very proud of this and uh, we are very proud to work with Scient uh, for these challenges, uh, this initiative, and for sure uh, we will build interesting things together. So let's uh, meet uh, the next uh, successes after the successes that we already had. So Mark, I thank you a lot uh, for your time. Very clear strategy, we are uh, proud to work with you. And uh, I wish you the best for the conference and for the rest. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, and uh, thanks you for thank you for watching uh, HXGN TV, and uh, goodbye.